Welcome all you plus two comedy modifiers back to the stream. Welcome back to RoachProfits.net. Yes, RoachProfits.net. Surprise. Uh, so uh, for those of you who are oh, wondering, uh, we are not playing uh, Phobos today because two very good reasons. One, there was not a new Phobos video that dropped. And two, a bunch has gone on with Phobos that I was not privy to. Uh, basically, from what I'm understanding is a bunch went on with the whiteboard and a bunch went on as I take my car keys out because it's uncomfortable. Uh, a lot went on with the whiteboard that we found and a lot went on with the printer. And uh, I'm too unknowledgeable <laughs> to uh, really dive into that without like spending some time off stream. So we're going to spend some time off stream. And uh, we'll come back with that next week, and hopefully I'll have more deets for you. Uh, hi, Kermit. So instead, we're going to get to Roach Profits, which seems to have had some sort of an update. There are no new videos for Roach Profits, but we have this new message. Please forgive any technical misfirings you experience, as this website is not sealed. Do not be concerned with any unexpected human media, human data, human records, human emotional objects, etc. you might come across. These items are simply debris being drawn to our site. Thank you for understanding. Interesting. Uh, I don't remember there being a song here, so we're gonna go ahead and play this. There's like a weird dip in the audio. It's like someone's turning it up and down. And ends abruptly. Welcome to RoachProfits.net, the premier cockroach owned uh, and operated Oracle provider by the Seating, you certify that you're at least 18 years old. If you'd like to create a human profile, click this. Uh, Kermit, you talked about actually putting in your information. Did you do that? Know your truth, know your truth, know your truth. I did not do that. Okay, I haven't done it either because I was worried about giving out my data. But I might do that. Uh, lots of weird stuff going on. Uh, let's receive a quick fortune. Today's fortune. Brap. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. That's my man. It's my favorite one. He tells me things are okay. Uh, let's go ahead and check the, the video game again. Is it the weird ribbons like it was last time? All right, it doesn't seem to have changed. Boosh. Boosh, 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 boosh. This is not a video game. Oh my gosh, it's gone totally hayride. Why are there for a second? Um, so the plan was, uh, if you'd like to do it now, go for it. Uh, no pressure, of course. I don't want someone to come into your home and kill you. But if, if you're willing to risk that for this stream, I understand. Uh, we wanted to go to, uh, I believe if you go to the main website, we'll go back to the main site here. I'll get away from the video game. Uh, you make a human profile. Oh, that's right. Your favorite teacher forgot your name. No, Mrs. Noel. I think it is this, uh, create a human profile. Yeah, you were supposed to stare at this for a really long time. And then... Thought something happened? Oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> I will tell your story, Kermit. I forget how we came across it. We definitely did come across something. Um, in any case, we need to go to the archives. That's where we, we left off, really. Uh, is we have all these archives that we have not read, so there's massive parts of the story that we have not gotten caught up on. 
Um, I think this is the last one we read was on my mind recently. Or in, in a good mood today sounds familiar. So we'll start there, just a, a reminder of what's going on in the life of Intern, and then we'll try to, to move forward. In a good mood today, I start making bread, friends. It's a good for me. It keeps my hands busy now that I'm doing less web design work. And nothing lifts your mood like a big helping of carbohydrates. Honestly, it's probably really good that I'm trying to do something non-insect related. I eat warm loaves of bread with butter for dinner probably four times a week. Bread makes you fat. Pretty sure I made that joke last time. Uh, I really get stuck on the stuff when I love it. Uh, I've always liked that about myself. Making bread is so fun. Uh, I only know how to make it one way, but I started combining those ingredients in slightly different ways to see what would happen. Who is to blame? What an interesting statement. That's all it says. Who is to blame? And then we got all this gobbly gook that we usually get. Who is to blame? For what? Their computer literacy and usage was, has hugely improved. I assume they mean the roaches. They don't really need me anymore. They've commandeered the computer, and I haven't been able to make any music in a long while. As for sewing projects, I'm not really sure where I put my supplies. I thought they asked, I thought they asked to use them, and I gave it to them, but I must have misremembered. More soon. All right, so giving sewing kits to the roaches would give them, like, needles and thread. Uh, I don't know what they would do with that, other than maybe stab each other, but... Ten blocks. I went out for a walk, friends. I was hoping to find a cheap instrument that I could use and not need my computer for, because because intern. We don't know intern's uh, gender, I don't think. Uh, so I have to say intern. Uh, doesn't have the computer to make music anymore. Uh, it's hard for me to go out. You know this. I don't know why I'm telling you. I'm too embarrassed to say how long it's been since I went out. Got 10 blocks from my apartment and passed this guy who threw his middle finger in my face and said something I won't repeat on stream. Uh, I pretended I couldn't hear him. <laughs> But the second he was out of eye shot, I turned on my heels and went home. No instrument. It's all right. Such is life. Just glad he didn't jump me. Aw, the story's sad. I spread it. I just want to tell everyone about this project. The octagon is complicated and nuanced, but they help me. I need to remember that. They guided me. They're right. They see so clearly, friends. It's like an itch. I can't tell my sister, and I would never tell my parents. However, I want everyone to know. I want everyone in the world to know. I want to tell everyone about them, and I know I'm not alone. Some of you have been reaching out in the Octagon Research Forums. Hmm. And I know you feel the same way. Just give in. Doesn't it feel good? Doesn't it feel safe, friends? Very interesting. I don't have a I don't have dates on these anymore. This is a problem. Let me go back to the archives so I can see where we are in time. So we we haven't heard from intern in over a month. So that's a bit worrisome. Let's see what we get here. The Octagon is having me take a step back. I'm disappointed them after they let me help with the latest emotional visualization. Uh, so just, I do want to check something after this. Uh, I feel terrible about it. I hope I can make it up to them. They were thrilled, I think, when I was able to receive the core source from Miss Kane. I can't believe I ruined it. But let's take a look. I want to run that against. So this is the latest emotional uh, visualization. When did this come out? Don't play right now. Uh, this 
this came out the 10th, which is the same day as this update. Interesting. So they're saying that Intern messed this up. And if I will watch it, because it's two minutes long. This is the one that suddenly gets like way better. I believe. Yeah, so, like, we have this, like, seizure-inducing stuff. And it doesn't work right. And then I believe once we get halfway through this, we'll get the next version. Because this is a... Oh, I don't remember what that... Yeah, this is a rot cipher that basically says that this is version 1.3 of this. And now we're going to get a performance. Yeah, so is it oh this is muted, I'm sorry. So we went through this and then we actually found this performance. This is a, a monologue from Hamlet that's being performed. I thought I said something here, but I guess I didn't. Um, so apparently interns somehow messed this up. Uh, I believe I've been to the two, but I will double check. Uh, we got one more thing to read here. So this was three days later and intern has not spoken since. I know I said I would be taking a step back but the Octagon has informed me they received many inquiries on the contact page about the source of Miss Kane provided to me. I don't want her to know I am the intern here, so I won't share her email. Interesting. The way I have in the past, and I won't be able to post, the, post it publicly. Here is an unlisted YouTube link. I wonder if the... We'll, we'll open this now. This might just be the monologue that we already found. This appears to be the monologue we already found. Get these to a nunnery. Why would that be a reason? I am myself indifferent on this, but yes, I can see It's interesting that that was being handed to us. Provide, okay, so basically that, because we, we did, we were wondering how, like, this came to be. And now we're learning that, because this is Graham Kane, so Grace Kane must be a relative of some sort that has passed this along to the Roach Prophets to create that emotional visualization. So I guess what that means is what we're seeing here of Graham performing is kind of just like the base and the emotional part is everything that's on top of it. All this stuff. Cause that like, that's like, it's like clowns and Graham in the woods and stuff like that. Interesting. All right, let's get back to, cause we've already watched that. Let's go ahead and it is surreal to finally hear Graham's voice. Uh, Ms. Kane explained that she's trying to jump start her acting career. And f oh, okay. Ms. Kane explained that she, referring to Graham, she, Graham, was trying to jump start her acting career and filmed this self tape to send out to various sh Shakespearean theaters. Theaters, theaters, friends, I've never been clear which theaters. It's okay, in turn. Uh, companies on the East Coast, uh, because this is Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Never forget. Um, Miss Kane said she stumbled on this video while working on compiling Graham's work. She alluded to Graham wanting to cast, to be cast on Winter of Infection, uh, but ABC being concerned about her androgyny. 
I guess Graham doubled down with a male monologue. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, thanks for everything, friends. So we already know that uh, Graham Kane created a show about spelunking that no one can seems to find because it gets taken down from YouTube so quickly. So that's what that show is. It's called uh, Winter of Infection. All right. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've been to the two, Kermit, but I'm going to take a look to... Which do you prefer? Undoing what has been done? Isolation? Can't choose. Big fan of isolation. Blam. You're welcome. feel like I did that already. All right, so let's look elsewhere for new stuff because that pop-up was new, so I feel like there's got to be new stuff somewhere. You guys enjoying the, the leaf blower as well? That's something I've added to the show. So yeah, there's the stickers and the shirts. You can get your favorite uh, Roach Prophet on it. I'm a big nine ball fan. Um, or you can get a sticker. I've been meaning to buy a sticker and put it on a trash can apparently. All right, testimonials. Our fortunes have changed lives. Even our own very human intern has begun spontaneously writing music since coming in contact with us. Below are the humans who have been so touched by our prophecy that they've donated their hard-earned, disgusting vile money. Okay, so this is the... Hey! Hey, it's Nick Nocturne. Yeah, Nightmind. That's fun. Or that they've helped with the site's functionality in another way, left side. All right, so uh, Nick Nocturne is, he's like an ARG Matt Pat. He, you know, he kind of like does summaries on stuff like this. Uh, he's awesome. I highly recommend Nightmind. Let's find out who these other people were. Just get, get their advertising out there. Um... I don't know, Kate might be our, our puppet master here. So Kate appears to be some sort of actor. Slash designer. Um, I, I don't know, I find this site a little suspicious, but not super suspicious. Because I think right now it's having a problem that I'm not full screening it, so it doesn't look right. Yeah, this looks a little better. Still a little weird. All right. I feel like this is out of game. I'm gonna double check the Twitter. Do not bother this human. Uh, this makes me suspicious. But appears to be just like normal active on Twitter. So probably out of game. We live in France. All right. And then sticker guy, I assume is the person who made the stickers. That makes a lot of sense. And then, don't know what death mysticism is, but I'm not gonna join their Patreon based on nothing. That's for sure. Interesting. Bring Kermit back. Hi, Kermit. <laughs> Will do. Will do. How would you define the difference between desire and drive? Use as many words you like, but... Uh, Desire is what you want. Drive makes the car go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need six more words. Go 
forward. Vroom. 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 Um. Vroom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did it! You're welcome. With what sense do you do we come to know the future? With, with what sense do we come? Like, like what knowledge? Like what sense? Like common sense? Or like what sense do we use to observe the future? Like are we using our eyes and our ears? Or like what sense or what knowledge do we bring to it? That's a weird question. I smell future. Something smells like the future. Did someone leave a window open? I think I, I, there's definitely some future nearby. All right, so we did this, we did this. We'll check gratuity. Hey, it's Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. Buzz, Buzz Lightyear. Interesting, I don't remember Buzz Lightyear hanging out here before. There's a, the vintage toy Advertiser? What do you guys think that says? Can I zoom? I can zoom. The Vintage Toy Advertiser. So maybe this is where all the toy things are coming from. This definitely looks too big to be in-game. Oh, look at that toy chainsaw! Daddy's little helper! I want a toy chainsaw. R2-D2, big fan. Alright, I will spend all day here, so I'm gonna get out of that. Let me make sure I've made this make sense size-wise, okay. Are you looking to spread the word? Of the roaches? Not, not right now. I'm busy scrolling. It's kind of like a little people's. Why I'm so uncomfortable by made so uncomfortable with this. Why can I scroll this way? Is there stuff hiding over here? That's a big no. It's just now everything's off center. I feel like I'm missing something. Something has to have changed. Yeah, so we've been to our Bethlehem. I believe that's where we got the story. We're going to double check everything. Oh yeah, it's got to be a lowercase b or it doesn't work. Yeah, so this is this is the uh the book report that's done on Graham. All right, so we've read this, all right? So that's what that was. I want to find something new. Uh, are the fortunes real? No answer. Emotional visualization systems, we talked about that. Your roach is how we use the computer, we talked about that. What's going on in the video game? How does this website work? I don't remember this. Open that in a new window, and that might be like the 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 behind the curtain thing. There's the two. There's 
a bear for some reason. And then we, we did decode that a while ago. It was like, it was in like a, it was a, uh, it was a rot cipher that was in like German or something. It's been a while. It's been a while since I, I solved that one. What's going on behind the scenes? Oh, right. So the behind the scenes is a purple goo. Is it interactable in any way? And we saw here that this like weird purple blob is actually the thing that they use to uh, create the emotional um, visualizations. Uh, and also like whatever this purple goo is, is getting on the roaches because Intern had that shirt that held all the roaches that had the purple stains on it. Um, all right, so there's that. Thought, let's take a look at the staff again. I don't like the way this looks. That guitar's new. Yeah, this is the way it's supposed to look, because it's eight. It's very interesting, like, it kind of looks like Nine Ball here has been erased and then, like, redrawn based on the smear here. That guitar is new. And, yeah, here they are. Oxygen. Oh, yeah, and then there was this, which is the creator's note, which is, like, thank you for coming. I've created this. This is the only out-of-character part of the project. That's right. Yeah, we, we've we've seen Maddie's uh, message before. We won't dive deep into it because it's out of game. We've watched the home movie before. Reality. Remember this. Species. Human. One's reality is largely based off their beliefs. You're welcome. I don't know what that's supposed to do. It's such a weird... This one's so weird. I get frustrated when I feel like I don't have a direction to go in. How did you find the, the thing about putting in your stuff. There's a TikTok? There's a Road Profits TikTok this whole time? Uh, this all looks like stuff we've seen already. It is. This is all stuff we've seen already. Because it's the emotional realizations, the home movie, and this. Yeah, okay, so... I'm not upset anymore. Yeah, Muppets! Hooray! So, we did get information to disregard these. Maybe we should be, like, investigating them a little bit more. Um, ooh, that file name is leaves a lot to be desired, huh? GK plus five? Uh, this is the trial. Let's close this. Let's get a new notepad up. Or, do I have a road stones bed? I do. I mean, I know Squarespace has a lot to do with it, but... I mean, if you look at just the title, this is what the name of the file is. And then Squarespace adds all their junk. But GK plus 5 is so odd. It's odd enough that I'm going to write it down. Um, uh, image names. GK plus 5. Let's, uh, let's just look at some other stuff just to see. 
Because, like, that's the only clue that we have, is we were told to ignore that, and we're gonna just ignore the information to ignore that, and we're gonna look and see if we can find other goofiness. I already did that. I wanna find another image. Show me another image. Staff is where we were, right? We also did not go to emotional realization. So are they showing up random? Like, do we not get the same image? Is that the deal? Is that the random? Hold on. GK23. I bet if I go into this page source, I can find all the images. Uh, still have no idea what Iris Ferret 6 pounds means, but... Control F dot JPEG. Yeah, so here are all the images. There are a crap ton of them. There are a hundred of them. And then randomly one shows up. Okay. So I guess in theory, I should be able to do this. and get something new. If I change the five to a six. No, it stayed the same. Very strange. Um, why did it stay the same? Oh my God, I forgot we were looking at that. Uh, all right, so here's all the images. There's a thing about random number generations. Yeah, so they just come up randomly. hiding in here that I should pay attention to? So that's the thing about Roach Prophets is it comes and it goes. Uh, lucky numbers. Let's go to lucky numbers. We haven't looked at lucky numbers yet today. Oh yeah, the lucky numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, eight. Yep, 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 yep. And then we had all these X's. And then I... And weird random toys. So I think the question is, if I refresh my page, will I get different ones? Is there music playing right now? can tell you that um so first off let's just talk about how we got a bunch of different stuff so this is all randomly generated so it's hard to find meaning in something that you know is random i mean it's possible that like there's one special image and we're just not getting it um check out these hot girls in bikinis and this naked woman i assume this is, this is going to get me thrown off Twitch. Uh, but that is from the home movies. That sound. Yeah, the, the Roach Prophet said that they wanted to show us something. They showed us this. Yeah, we don't have the tapping. But it's from this, like, flea surface thing. And, like, you can kind of see 
like this is the bathtub and then like you can see the seam in the wall so this is where their stuff is written i just realized their stuff is written in purple so the the roaches are probably drawing themselves and then writing the messages by using the gloop from the machine I guess there, there's kind of a roaring sound in this. It's like a Maybe that's the sound of the uh, the machine they're using. Like that's it turning on. It's like tunk, 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 tunk. But the, I do want to, I'll show the thing at the end. Get to the end. Because we do have this moment here at the end where if you look at the side of the screen, come on, do it. Yep, there, there it is. You get, just for a moment, you, you see this cockroach stand up and turn the camera off, which means that they are actually cockroaches. It's not like it's in Intern's head or anything like that. There are, in fact, cockroaches here. So it's not just the cartoons, but now I'm starting to think that they draw themselves. That's my new plan. And I did ask what that song was and got no response. So I tried. <laughs> Have we ever tried to Shazam it? That, you know, is usually my go-to move is to Shazam things. Let's let's Shazam it. You gotta unplug my headphones. Let's try Shazam. I click to Shazam. Dutch from 1910. I'm going to do it again just to see. I got old Dutch again. Let's just sit for the sake of argument. Let's take a, a look. Old Dutch by Victor Herbert Orchestra. So it should be this. There it is. So we can put that mystery to, to, to bed. It's old Dutch. Look, that, look at his handsome face. <laughs> this song was used by roaches to predict the future. Interesting. All right. So it, I'm, I'm torn because we were told to, to ignore these. But, like, what else do I do with them? Like... The idea is that they're kind of getting pulled in from out of nowhere. Because can I go? Let's go back to the homepage. 
I think I, I destroyed that pop-up, and now it never will come back again, which is not good. Um... Huh. All right. Let's get some fortunes, I guess. Alone is ideal. Another fortune, please. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Thank you, Nine Ball. I appreciate that. But also, it is hopeless. So notice, like, notice how purple everything is. And I also have a theory that this guy jitters. That's why it looks like this. Consider mortality. Is you're wrong? What is this saying? Consider mortality is wrong. Y-O-U-M-R? I don't know what that means. Give me another fortune. Your mouth is filthy. Fuck you. Consider your urges. Your tub is filthy. Check for lumps. My lovely lady lumps. Check it out. See, look, see how freaking purple this is. Like, I'm purple. <laughs> People can't understand. You're thinking of parents. It's parents that just don't understand. All right, I think that might do it for the day. I'll get a few more fortunes and then we'll head out. But this has been Road Profits. Uh, I thought there'd be more to talk about today, but it seems like, uh, I think we're up to date now, so we have to wait for something else to come out. Uh, and then hopefully we'll have more Phobos to talk about next time. I, uh, I gotta get on the Discord and talk about what the hell's going on with that printer, and I'll have more information for that next time here on the stream. Why do you deserve life? Do you believe that? Really? Oh, and also Kermit. Kermit risked his life and gave information, so maybe he'll be mailed some cockroaches. Won't that be fun? Won't that be fun? One more fortune while I sign off. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Cool, 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 cool. Thank you so much for joining me for another edition of Road to Profits. Uh, I stream Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday here at 3.30 Eastern Standard Time with exclusive Patreon streams on Tuesdays. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, some Road to Profits. Be sure to subscribe right here to Plus Two Comedy Gaming so you can catch up on all my past live streams. And I'll see you all next time. Boop.